Chris Murphy is saying that Clarence Thomas uh, should be looked into uh, whether he can even continue to serve as a Supreme Court justice. Uh, let's first we'll give you a little background, then we'll watch some video uh, of Congressman Murphy. Uh, you know, Clarence Thomas is, um, it, it, you know, it has taken money or has he's got? I should say. Let me let me put exactly what it is. Uh, there's Harlan Crow uh, is a, a Texan man uh, who is a developer, and Crow is uh, has t has given money. Uh, to, uh, I'm going to get this exactly right, uh, this is what Murphy's saying, I think at the very least his actions disqualify him from sitting on any case in which Crow affiliated organizations, we're going to hear that, uh, you know, uh, parties have attempted to influence the court. There are 11 cases, this is what I'm looking for, he sat on 11 cases where a Harlan Crow affiliated group filed a brief adopting the group's preferred outcome in all but one case. Crow affiliated groups have also given $500,000 uh, to a fund um, that, uh, or to a, uh, a an organization that Ginny Thomas, Virginia Thomas, the wife of the um, of the Supreme Court justice, is on. Let's listen now to Chris Murphy talk about this. But what's what's impressive about this is that you, you have a um, a Supreme Court justice who is really above the law in any of these cases. And what what uh, what Murphy wants to do is you know, have the, a bill that will strip these Supreme Court justices of their immunity from ethical conduct codes. Uh, they don't have that. Abe Fortas, by the way, who was nominated to the court uh, by President Johnson in 68, I think, uh, to be the Supreme Court justice, he was nominated to the Supreme Court to be Supreme Court justice, had to end up resigning because he, they found out that he took $20,000 from people at American University. I don't, know this, I don't remember the specifics, but it was the same kind of case. So why in the world should Clarence Thomas not be held to at least that same, uh, you know, that, that same bar? Uh, and and he hasn't been. Um, so I think that that when let's listen to Chris Murphy and we'll talk about this in just a second. This is Congressman Chris Murphy, the fifth district of Connecticut. I think what Thomas has done is as serious as what can, can force Fortas off the bench. Uh, you know, I think our problem is we don't know the full extent to of uh, Justice Thomas's connection to Harlan Crow or frankly to a further network of right wing funders. Um, what he's done is incredibly serious. I think at the very least, uh, his actions should disqualify him from sitting uh, on any cases in which Crow affiliated organizations uh, are parties to or have attempted to influence. Uh, but this is starting to rise to the level where there should start to be some real uh, investigations as to whether Clarence Thomas can continue to serve as uh, justice on the Supreme Court. You know, and those are pretty strong words. Uh, the way to get rid of a Supreme Court justice is through an impeachment process, um, and uh, I, you know, there's nothing imminent here. I think what what uh, what Murphy is trying to do is show that he has sort of a uh, an ethics issue that he can put uh, before the House, before the Senate, a bill that will allow uh, the, the Congress to actually monitor the ethics of the Supreme Court. I don't know whether it will pass. Listen, Clarence Thomas and, 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 uh, and Murphy has all but said it, uh, does the bidding very often uh, of causes for causes that are Republican causes. He said so. He's, he acknowledged that one of his positions on the Supreme Court is to support the same kind of things that his wife is supporting, and his wife is supporting Tea Party groups. Uh, and Harlan Crow has given a great deal of money to his wife's efforts. Uh, it seems like there is certainly an ethical problem here. Uh, and because there's no ethical control, I don't know that Thomas is other than breaking, you know, what, you know, what we know as common ethics, I don't know that he's breaking a law or anything that's in Congress, which is why Murphy is putting this bill forward. I think it's pretty great. Uh, and I think Chris Murphy should be commended for it.